Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. We are back with Football Manager 2021 and Hammer Time with West Ham United. And today we're taking on Southampton and Norwich in our final two Premier League games of the season. Next episode, we will have the Europa League final, the All English final against Manchester United. That will be a bonus video coming out tomorrow. I do apologise for my absence this week. I'm, I was I'm ill. I had a cold. Um, and the worst thing to do if you're suffering from a cold is sit and talk for 20 minutes especially when you're sniffing and coughing and i'm sure you don't want to hear that thankfully fortunately i didn't have any covid symptoms so i didn't have to um, isolate i took a test just in case and it was negative negative. and yeah i feel much better so we're gonna wrap up the west ham series today and tomorrow and then next week we'll start eastern versions to the brand new series with stour in romania so with two games left of the season there's nowhere we can really go we're stuck in fifth place so uh, that's a great great finish you know, Europa League group stages for next season. That's really good. So we've got nothing to play for in these last two games except for our pride. Hopefully we can come our way with victories. Uh, last episode, we defeated Lyon, the league leaders in Ligue 1 in France. 4-1 uh, on aggregate to go through to the Europa League final, which will be next time. Uh, we also defeated Wolverhampton 2-1 at home. But let's jump into the first of two games today then, uh, Southampton. Uh, we're going to change a little bit, but not too much. So we're going to go Gomez and Noble in midfield. We are going to play Bartoli Drogowski in goal uh, because Fabianski is going to be leaving. And, you know, this is a perfect opportunity to to play our, our new goalkeeper. Drogowski uh, next season is going to be first choice. I'm not playing next season because we are going to be wrapping this up. I might revisit in the future. We'll see how things go uh, with Stour and there might be a chance to maybe revisit the West Ham series maybe in a stream or something I do want to try and stream a bit more this year so definitely something to look at in the future but Drogowski is going to play these last two league games and then Fabianski will return for the Europa League final his last game for West Ham before he retires and we are underway in our penultimate league game of the season nothing to play for in the table we're just trying to get through these last two games without defeat hopefully we can do that got an early chance here Richarlison with the ball to Noble and he can put a cross in there. And Gomez has a shot, but it's uh, blocked by Stefan Randu, the former Lazio defender, making the move to the Premier League. Here's Juan Mata to Redmond. And Southampton on the attack now after uh, blocking our effort. And, oh, I think it's an own goal. I think Diallo may have just slid that into his own net, and he has. Southampton take a 1-0 lead inside seven minutes. It's an own goal. It's only our second of the season. We haven't seen too many. Um, you know, we've been quite fortunate in some of these things. Um, you know, we have lost some silly games. We have dropped some silly points. But in terms of our own goals and red cards, we've been quite fortunate. We've only had one red card this series. And that was from Mark Noble. And I think that's our second own goal. Maybe our third. But not a great start. I feel like Gomez maybe could have done better with his shot. But here we go again. 22 minutes coming up. Here is Emi Brindia. And it wasn't a great ball. Mata picks it up. Here's Ings. And Mata gets it back from the English striker. Uh, Rice with the interception there. And Mata to Redmond. Small bone. Matter. Oh, this is becoming a bit too easy for Saints. And there's 2-0. Danny Ings with these at 15th of the season. Scoring, you know, just as often as he does in real life. 2-0 Saints. Okay, this has not gone to plan. Um, This was a great, um, you know, piece of passing play by Southampton. And then uh, small bone to Matter. And this was a great ball for Ings. Gets past the defence. Beats that offside trap. And scores. I mean, we've got a highlight here. It's a clearance. Now, here's Danny Ings. I really hope that our team aren't, you know, on a holiday already. Otherwise, this could get embarrassing. Ings is going for goal again here, but it's the wrong side of the post. Really not a good first half at all by us. Really, really poor. I think that warrants a bottle throw. We haven't done many. I haven't needed to, but I'm, I'm throwing the bottle for that because that was a horrible first half. They don't like it, but I don't care. Um, they didn't defend well. They didn't control the game. That was a terrible first half. That was a terrible team talk. Um, fire up. Let's see if we can get back into it. Get back into this, because otherwise this is going to end up getting embarrassing. Uh, here's Walker Peters, and Richarlison goes goes in there. Lucky he didn't concede a foul. Small bone, and a uh, bit too much on that for Ings to get onto. Dragovsky claims that one, and he's conceded two today. fabianski has been good in goal, very very good actually. Oh, and Origi has just lobbed the goalkeeper. Okay, I mean, if ever there's a way to get back into the game, that is it. Divo Karigi, with his 14th of the season, has just chipped the goalkeeper. I don't see that very often at all. But um, Djokovsky went long, and I don't know why Forster came out. He was off his line. Origi saw it, and he's, he's lobbed the goalkeeper. That was great. 
Okay, we are going to make our first substitution because we have got some poor performers out there. Diallo scored the own goal, so that's why he's got that low rating that he's got. Uh, we're going to make Noble just a little bit more defensive. Or oh, His abilities dropped now as well. Two stars for him. So I think Noble might be on his way out if he, if he, you know, he might retire soon. He's 35. We'll see. We're going to take off Brindia. We're going to... We're going to move Origi out wide and we're going to bring on Sebastian Allaire. We haven't seen him for a couple of games just because, uh, you know, Origi did well in a couple of games. So um, Allaire did sort of stop starting games. But um, an hour in, we've made a change. Can we get back into this and make it 2-2? Let's wait and see. Let's demand more. And let's see what's going to happen. It's 67 minutes, goal kick, and it's the Easter Diop. Find Sebastian Allaire. There's nobody ahead of him, though. Bertrand toward Prowse. Here's Matter. And again, a ball for Danny Ings. And it is 3-1. Is it going to count? No, it does count. Um, I wasn't sure if Ings was offside there. But Southampton restored their two-goal cushion. It's 3-1. I don't know the last time we actually lost a league game. It may it may even be back in January. I actually don't know. Oh, we're seeing it again. That was very, very close. I, was, I can't believe that hasn't gone to VAR. All right, we really haven't been at the races with this one. It's been a really poor game for us. You know, it's been a while since we've had a real stinker, but this is definitely one of them. We're going to make the rest of our changes. Four nails and Gray are coming on. Origi to Allaire. Origi's got it back. Come on. Get back into this game. We've got 10 minutes. We, well, there's still time to bring this back to 3-3. It's unlikely. Here's Gomez to Gray. This is a good chance here. Come on, Gray. He's gone for the goal. <laughs> it was a terrible effort. Oh, dear. Ten minutes to go. and I mean, if we're going to have stuff like that, we're not going to score, are we? I said that we don't have anything to play for except pride. And at the moment, these guys are letting themselves down. You know, we've confirmed fifth place. But, you know, we don't want to be ending the season with two losses. We really don't. Especially going into the Europa League final as well. That's going to look really bad. And it's 4-1. Nathan Redmond has just scored. And that one might be disallowed because the referee is going to... Call it back for a VAR decision. Let's see how it goes. Um, it's disallowed. It stays 3-1. That's the best bit of luck we've had all game. Okay, apparently that was offside. That looked more onside than the Ings goal. I mean, this has been a disaster from the start. You know, the own goal in the seventh minute. <laughs> I think <laughs> that was the, you know, that was the deciding factor in this. <laughs> we haven't really recovered since. So we, we can't stop conceding. Redmond does make it four this time. That one does count. Drakowski... And somehow I've got a 7.1. I guess he's had a lot of saves to make, but we have been absolutely terrible in this game. This is the worst performance of this series. <laughs> and look at that. Did you see that, like, Rabona pass by Radu? Ridiculous. Chelsea have won the league. Uh, they bettered the Man United result. They go on to 90 points. So Chelsea are the champions. And Leicester needs to win on their last day. We face Norwich on the final day. They're still fighting for survival. And if we drop points against Norwich, it could see them safe and we could end up relegating Leicester. But if we beat Norwich, we could send them down if Leicester win. But we need to buck our ideas up before this Europa League final. We just lost 4-1 to Southampton. We've got Man United in the final, a team that we've never beaten in this series over like six games, I think we played them. If we can't beat Southampton, we've got no chance against United. We are going to miss a Rigi for the Norwich game. Uh... He should be back for the Europa League final. It's not until the 26th, so he should be back before then. Uh, Bowman's also up with a little uh, foot problem for a few days, but we haven't really been playing him. Okay, final game of the season. We take on Norwich away from home, who are looking to stay up. If they win, then they will stay up. Um, we don't want that, of course. We want to win this one. Uh, if we beat Norwich and Leicester win, then Leicester will overtake Norwich and they will go down. If Norwich draw and Leicester win, then they will also be relegated. If Leicester get anything other than a win, then they are down. And Man City and Spurs battling out for that final Europa League place. One of them will be in the Europa Conference League, though. I don't think we set opposition instructions against Southampton. That may have been why we lost. Okay, Origa not quite fit to play in this final game. So Ale is going to replace him. We'll bring back the first choice pair of uh, Fornals and Thomas Suchek in midfield. And I'm going to go uh, Anderson over Johnson. Okay, final game of the season. Uh, hopefully we can end with a victory. Uh, we will send Norwich down if they do do that, which, uh, you know, someone's got to go down, hasn't they? haven't they? But let's see how things go. You know, let's just try and end this with a win. We were horrible against Southampton. So let's uh, right that wrong 
and get some good momentum going into the Europa League final. Richarlison into the middle here. Uh, he could go, he goes back to four nows. Here's Socek. Um, Norwich with a lot of people behind the ball. And Krull comes out to collect that. Here's an Iataran. And Armstrong has managed to get behind the defence here. It goes for goal and Djokovic makes a good save. We didn't really see him make a save in the other game. He got a 7.1 rating, I think, somehow. But didn't see too much from him. Here's Jahan Batch on the corner. Headed away by Issa Diop. And here's Armstrong now for Norwich. Looking to bring it back in. Buendia makes the tackle, but doesn't get the ball back. And a header, and it's in. Jahan Batch has put it in. And it's going to count as 1-0 Norwich. Oh my god. Okay. Please don't lose to Norwich. The former Brighton man from um, Iran, I think he is, with the goal. Buendia, you know, could have made the tackle a bit harder. Uh, and Jahan Batch gets there. Drukowski, I don't know where he's going. 1-0 Norwich. Deary me. We really don't want this form going into that Europa League final. We really don't want this. Headed away by Diop. And Buendia heads it further on. He's going to... Keep this in and hopefully start the attack here. He's got lots of space to run into. There's Where's the right back for Norwich? I've no idea. Cuts inside. And Aribo with the... Well, that is a foul. I was going to say it was a pretty hard tackle. And it looks like we're going to get a penalty here 15 minutes in. We'll wait and see what the decision is from VAR. And it is... Uh, it is a penalty. Apparently, that's surprising. It looked like a penalty to me, but it's going to be Ale taking this 16th minute to hopefully equalise for us against the uh, Norwich side, hoping to stay up. Ale converts it. It's 1 1. This is going to be a tough game, but Norwich, you know, fighting to survive still on this final day. It's going to be tough, but um, Ale has equalised for us from the spot. His 21st goal of the season, by the way. He's improved on last year. He's been great. Okay, we're going to take it off attack and we're going to go balanced because we need to start being a bit safer, I think. We're going a bit too gung-ho. And with Norwich, you know, still with a lot to play for, we need to be very careful. Okay, let's see if we can get in front in this game. and We need to win this one, really. Um, Leicester are being um, are holding Liverpool at the moment. That's 1-1 one, one at Anfield. They've got a really tough game to win. They're against Liverpool away from home. Wow. Okay, half-time. It's 1-1. One, one, um, and we equalise with our only shot on target from the penalty spot. Need to be doing better than this. Right, again, we're going to fire them up and let's see if we can get back into this game. I'm going back to attacking. We need to score goals and we're not going to do it on balance, I don't think. So let's see how things go. 52 minutes. We've got a throw. And, oh, they haven't dealt with that well at all. And Ale has uh, put us in front for the first guy, first time in the game. Um, that was a bit of a mess at the back there for Norwich. You know, a big mistake there from the throw. And we managed to take advantage and get in front. Zinchenko with the throw. Four nails with their header. And it was a completely missed header by... Who was that? Uh, Zimmerman completely missed the header. And Alec scores his second of the game in his 22nd of the season. Aribo finds Jahan Batch. They've got a lot of space out wide of Norwich. Let's try and uh, bring them inside. Um, we are, well, we are forcing them inside. Okay, we'll just go standard with them. Jahan Batch. Now, we aren't getting stuck in anymore. That was a good block. Richarlison, where are you going? Oh, God, I thought he was going the wrong way for a second. Now, Armstrong, he had so much space there. Adam Armstrong is equalised for Norwich. It's 2-2. Two -two. I mean, he had a clear sight of goal there. There was nobody anywhere near him. We, he had all the time in the world to pick his spot in that goal then. A good block from the Jahanbach cross. I don't know where Richarlison was going. And Armstrong controls it. And look how much space he had here. Just plenty of time to, you know, find the perfect shot. And he did. This has been, a, an, a again, a poor game. Luckily, we're not losing this one. But, again, it's been pretty dreadful. Anderson's had a horrible game. We're going to bring on Ben Johnson to make that change. Uh, we're going to make Zinchenko wing-back support as well. Just not have him getting forward too much. Deary me, what is this? These two games have been so weird. Corner, 67 minutes on the clock. Brendia headed away by Gibson. Richarlison will hopefully get to this first. And he does. Needs a bit of help, though. Oh, he's lost possession. It's Armstrong. And Freeman, and Norwich on the attack again here. This is really worrying stuff, you know. And, you know, this Norwich team are fighting for survival. Armstrong. Jahan Bakch. Kamara to Freeman. I mean, they've got a lot. I've never seen Norwich play like this. They're really, they're really going for it. Now, can we break? Richarlison can make it 3-2 here. 69th minute. He's gone for goal. He's nowhere near it. He's coming off. <laughs> Bye, Richarlison. You're done for the day. 
Uh, Gray. We'll bring on Gray. I'm going to berate them because this is not good enough. It really isn't. How We've had six shots to Norwich's 13. What is this? Leicester are winning 2-1, by the way. So as it stands, Norwich will be relegated. And they've got five minutes to try and save themselves. We're going to go back to balance. This has not been going well. Free kick for Buendia. And it's headed over by Issa Diop. Are we really going to drop points against Norwich? Uh, last change to make. Uh, Socek is going to come off for Gomez. Four minutes of stoppage time to get through. And either side could still get a winner here. It's Zimmerman for Norwich. I mean, he's given Kroll a lot of work to do there. Kroll is off his line. Aaron's Ben Johnson goes for the tackle, but doesn't make it. Now he needs to get back to get rid of Armstrong. That's a great tackle by Johnson. Keep it in. He doesn't quite keep it in. It's going to be a corner. Full time, 2-2. Two, two. Another disappointing performance, really. Re it hasn't been a good final two games. I think we really, you know, with nothing to play for in the league, I think they did kind of... That they, they, they did slip up a little bit, and with Man United still to play in that final in the Europa League, you really can't afford to be doing that. And it's not like I've rotated either. All we've done is change the goalkeeper. Uh, Norwich with that two-two draw, not enough to keep them up. As uh, Leicester with a two-one win at Anfield, um, Mina Mina scoring against his old club. There's our news flash for you there's a headline for you uh so leicester stay up on goal difference norwich relegated to the championship with reading and brighton but i'd like to see exactly what the board thought of those last two games because i wasn't too impressed i mean, I mean an, an f for southampton we lost 4-1 that was a disaster and i don't think we set opposition instructions for that game so that may be why we lost that and then a c minus against norwich um Dropping points, you know, it was a it was an entertaining match, but we really should have played better than we did. But Norwich, you know, you know, trying to stay up on that final day, they had a lot to play for still. We didn't really have anything to play for in the league. So I guess, you know, Norwich had that motivation behind them, but we didn't really have. And that leads us on to the Europa League final next episode. Manchester United in Sevilla. Can we come away with a trophy in this series? It's our last chance. We we could have done with that EFL Cup final. We lost to Spurs in extra time. But, you know, to get to two finals in one season with West Ham, it's fantastic. Really, really happy with how we've done. Uh, you know, we've taken on some big sides in these uh, knockout stages. Leverkusen, Nantes, uh, Real Betis and Lyon all defeated in the knockout stages. And we come to an all-English final next episode against Man United. Uh, and I will see you there. For now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Leave comments if you haven't done so already. Or if you're new, do subscribe and turn on notifications. And join us next time for the Europa League final against Manchester United. And like I did with the EFL Cup final, I will make it a premiere on YouTube so you can watch along. Um, and, uh, you know, chat while the video is taking place. I'll be in the chat as well. Uh, and that will wrap up West Ham. And then after that, next week, we'll move on to our brand new series, um, Eastern Resurgence 2 with uh, Stour Bucharest in Romania. But Premier League's all done. Next episode, we uh, play our final game of this series, the Europa League final. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.